Welcome to Sugar Craft by Have a Cup of Tea Tutorial hari ini, cara membuat sugar daisy Jom! Untuk video kali ini, tea pakai sugar mold So yang kat dalam video tu kan, nampak kan? Okay, those are sugar mold yang tea dapat daripada Shopee from this seller This sugar mold is used for uh, the center of a daisy uh, Sunflowers Sebelum start, what you can do is ambil corn flour, tepuk-tepuk sikit kat sugar mold tu supaya nanti tak lekat. Get a bit of yellow sugar paste, masuk ke dalam ruang tiga atau empat. Make sure jangan picit sampai flat eh, buat macam bentuk cone dalam video. Get your size wire 20, basahkan sikit edible glue, masukkan halfway. Gently take it out of the mold and then Seperti biasa, secure at the bottom of the center. Once done, leave it to dry at least 24 jam sampai keras. For sugar daisy petals, kita tak akan menggunakan wire. The cutters yang T tunjukkan dalam video ni, okay, cutters ni is from a bunch of cutters lah yang T beli daripada bakery shop. Cheap ones lah actually. And what I did was, bentukkan the cutter according to the shape that I want. I will probably make another video kot. Um, dia akan tunjuk macam mana T buat using existing cutters uh, to make my own version of uh, flower cutters. As you can see, T dah habis tekap 20 daisy petals. Once dah siap, you take your veiner uh, okay, vena ni actually dipakai untuk other flowers juga besides and daisy such as Cosmo. Silicon vena ni digunakan untuk mendapat that um, texture or look of a real flower, real petal. Get your ball tool, the smaller size, press the end of the petal and bagi dia macam melengkung ke dalam sikit. Okay, job! Petals yang kita buat tadi tu, kita nak bagi dry uh, for 10 to 20 minutes. Reason ni kenapa kita nak biar the petals to dry sikit is so that bila you letak glue at the end of the petals uh, and then also the glue dekat bottom of the center, when you start assembling, lekatkan the petals kat the center tu, um, bila you dah letak semua petals and then you angkat the flower the petals tu dia akan stay as in the, the 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 shape tu dia akan stay if you tak bagi dia dry for a bit the petals nanti bila you angkat the petals tu nanti akan jatuh dia dia tak buka macam daisy tau um, so that's why my my advice is at least to leave it uh, dry for a bit lah uh, 10 to 20 minutes Bila dah siap, gantungkan daisy tu terbalik. This is another version of a foam pad yang boleh dibeli dekat kedai bakery juga. Dia macam menkelengkuk sikit. T gunakan foam pad ni apabila daisy tu dia dah macam kering um, kering dah sikit. So, T cucuk ke atas foam pad tu nak bagikan daisy punya petals tu uh, terbuka. Kalau you tengok gambar real daisy, you akan tengok the flower itself the petals tu dia macam terbuka so that's why T punya advice um, in my previous video always to have a photo as a reference so that you the, the final look of your photo, of your flowers tu kan you boleh you boleh tahu tau macam mana you you nak the outcome of it same goes when you nak dusting kan you nak letak what kind what you want to use what kind of colors how you how how dark or how light you want your flowers to look like so it's very important as you can see sekarang ni T dah um, dust uh, my second daisy and this is how it looks like at the end again thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to subscribe and follow my IG see you soon cheers